Let's talk about the next gun story. A man has shot and killed his girlfriend while hugging her. Julietta sent this to me. Article on Raw Story. Woman died on Tuesday after being accidentally shot and killed by her boyfriend while the couple was hugging. Phoenix police said that the 18 year old man was hugging his 24 year old girlfriend at home and the gun he was wearing in his waistband went off. Could you take your gun out of your pants so we could get a little more intimate? I mean, what 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 exactly is the situation here? The man told police that the gun was causing his girlfriend discomfort during the hug. So he attempted to move it. That's when the gun went off. The woman was later pronounced dead after being rushed to a nearby hospital. Phoenix police say that it has been referred to the attorney's office, but it appears to be an accident. I really have a problem with that terminology. If it is not a deliberate firing of a gun as intended, it is a negligent discharge. You have acted negligently with your firearm. It is discharged when you did not intend it to. And that to me makes me think you're not a responsible responsible gun owner. This concept of just accidental shootings, I, I just factually disagree with. I agree. This is complete negligence. If that gun were in a proper holster, uh, you wouldn't have uh, you wouldn't be able to pull the trigger. Um, I just clearly seems to me like negligence. And I think there should be charges here. One of the funniest comments on in what in what is a very tragic case, one of the funniest comments and absurd comments on the raw story comment section is maybe if her waistband was also stuffed with a gun, this tragedy could tragedy could have been avoided. Signed Wayne LaPierre. I mean, seriously, if the girlfriend had had a gun as well, could she still be alive or or is this yet more proof? that just more guns doesn't resolve irresponsible gun handling and gun ownership. And seriously, how insecure are you that you wear a gun in your pants in the safety of your own home in the living room, sitting on a couch while hugging your girlfriend? Where are you at in life that that's what you're doing? Uh, hard to say. Hard to, this was a very young man and uh, I, I can't get into his head, but uh, very strange situation. If you're thinking after hearing story after story like this, then any second we're going to finally hit rock bottom on the gun situation and then bounce back to some semblance of sanity. I am not convinced, Lewis, that there even is a rock bottom because it is shooting after shooting. And by the way, just in the last week, a lot of these haven't made the news. There have been three mass shootings, four injured in Jacksonville, Florida, four injured in Zanesville, Ohio, and four dead in Asheville, Pennsylvania. It's so common that we can't even cover them all, Lewis. It's this really a daily occurrence, not mass shootings, but there are shootings every day in this country. And you know what? I don't blame all the media for for missing all of them. You literally cannot cover all of them.